Note the following article is part of Doug Krieger's book Chapter Alters, Ancient Egypt to the Apocalypse, Part 4, Section 4 The Wonderful Numbers of Sacred Canon The Capstone a.k.a. Pyramidian as the altar unto the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt by Doug Krieger ad Namid sense 160 by 600 underscore orange It would be logical to commence this immediate study of the altars of sacred canon at their dimensional inauguration, the tabernacle in the wilderness, dot for therein is a continuity, a logical sequence of expansion from the wilderness to Solomon's temple and thence to the grand millenarian altar seen in Ezekiel's futuristic altar however, we have decided that, and although the overt mentioning of the sacred cubit 25.20 does not occasion the text by name as in Qubit in reference to this sacred altar. The impress of the New Jerusalem is, however, written all over its measurements, for the Great Pyramid of Giza is the most measured artifact of antiquity, and the world's only wonder among the original seven still standing. There is another general cubit length that is referred to by the Jews frequently. It is 21.6 in length. This cubit was also much used by the Jews, and is so often referred to that it has eclipsed the 25.1 cubit in most writings. The Gemara names three Jewish cubits of five, six, seven palms, and as Oppert Julius Oppert shows that 25.2 was reckoned seven palms, 21.6 being six palms, we may reasonably apply this scale to the Gemara list, and read it as 18, 21.6 and 25.2 inches note the palm a handbreadth is considered 3.6. There is also a great amount of medieval and other data showing this cubit of 21.6 to have been familiar to the Jews after their captivity but there is no evidence for its earlier date Encyclopedia Britannica, Volume 28, p. 484. The prophetic implications of the Great Pyramid of Giza's platform pyramid in a capstone are awesome, for it is known as the altar unto the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. This entire edifice, also known as a pillar to the Lord at its border, is considered a genuine altar where upon sacrifice and offering are made however, its capstone captures the majority of our attention as the divine platform raised to the heavens and truly exemplary of the immensity of that altar unto the Lord, for the altar in sacred canon is likewise a witness in the land of Egypt cf. Joshua chapter 222,129, especially verses 27 but that it the altar may be a witness testimony between you and us and our generations after us. Yes, altar to the Lord at the border of Egypt, for this altar is astounding, and memorializes the sacrifice and offering on that yet future day of reconciliation wherein Israel will be one of three with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing in the midst of the land, whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed is Egypt my people, and Assyria the work of my hands, and Israel my inheritance Isaiah chapter 192425.4 In that day there will be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar to the Lord at its border lit. Giza, and it will be for a sign and for a witness to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt, for they will cry to the Lord because of the oppressors, and he will send them a saviour and a mighty one, and he will deliver them, then the Lord will be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians will know thee. Lord in that day, and will make sacrifice and offering yes, they will make a vow to the Lord and perform it Isaiah chapter 191921. In determining the measurements of the capstone atop the Great Pyramid of Giza GPG we must keep in mind that its ratio and proportion must be precise, therefore, since the base of the GPG is 756 linear feet and its height is 480 feet, its ratio is calculated as follows 756,481.575 therefore, after a somewhat exhaustive research on the possible measurements of the GPG's missing capstone, we have determined that its base side is 13.5 linear feet are 162 imperial British inch. Consequently, if the ratio were 1.575 we would simply use the common formula in inches to determine the height of the GPG's capstone solving for x as the height of the capstone 756480907257601.575 162 by 90 million 725,760 x x 930 1,209,072 by 102.857 height of GPG capstone This calculation of the capstone space and height and its ratio to that of the overall GPG substructure is virtually in perfect harmony with the 117 ratio of the GPG wherein 117 1.57 and, of course, we immediately notice that the 117 ratio presents two number sets 11 and 7 which when added together constitute the standard measurement of the new derivative.
Jerusalem are 1811718. Note the 117 ratio can be seen in the 440,280 Egyptian royal cubit configurations. This 440,280 is 117 or 1.57. Therefore, the Tribnet's calculations have gravitated to this overwhelming evidence. See next below. To prove our ratio calculation and our capstone's elevation we simply divide 162,102.8571.575 which equals 2 hour GPG base and height overall measurement 756,480 ratio of 1.575 Please note the proportion 4402801117 equate to pi 22 and accuracy of better than 0.05% corresponding to the well-known approximation of pi as 227 some Egyptologists consider this to have been the result of deliberate design proportion, Werner wrote, We can conclude that although the ancient Egyptians could not precisely define the value of pi, in practice they used it, Petrie, author of Pyramids and Temples of Giza, who was the first accurate surveyor of Giza and the excavator and surveyor of the Pyramid of Medium, concluded but these relations of areas and of circular ratio are so systematic that we should grant that they were in the builder's design. Earlier in the chapter he wrote more specifically, that we conclude that Therefore that the approximation of 7 to 22 as the ratio of diameter to circumference was recognized. These proportions equated to the four outer faces sloping by 5.843 of 51 degrees 5034, which would have been understood and expressed by the ancient Egyptians as a set slope of 512 palms, the great pyramids in Egypt. From here we can calculate that 156th constitutes the capstone insofar as height and base concern in that 02.857 x 56 5759.992 of 5765760 is the number of inches in the height of the GPG as in 480 by 12 5760. Some place the height of the capstone at 103 note in so-called pyramid inches in that the original height of the GPG was 480 feet some record 480.69, it is somewhat speculative to arrive at the GPG's actual pyramidian i.e., capstone measurement in length and height in that weathering and damage to the height has been reduced by nearly 30 therefore, we have calculated its base and actual height 756 and 480 and taken this as a ratio to determine the dimensions of the pyramidian, so Flinders Petrie's several measurements of the top of the GPG indicated. Hence we know the relation of the present top of the core masonry to the base of the pyramid. The top is, rather strangely, not square, although it is so near to the original apex. The Pyramids and Temples of Giza, Flinders Petrie, C25 of Pyramidian top measurements as well. Some say the height of the GPG is between 480 to 481 naturally affecting sundry Pyramidian measurements. Sir Petrie's range of measurements in 1881 and then again in 1882 determined the existing top measurements between 224.5.7 to 214.1.3 of its present top base whereas our arbitrary calculation of the GPG's original Pyramidian capstone to be at a consistent 162 perimeter per edge or 648 perimeter in its elevation based on the 156th or 1.575 ratio to be 102.857 height higher up than Petrie's base measurements see below. Now, I am fully aware of the tedium involved here however, the imperial British inch so achieved is no small matter and, unfortunately, there are some scoffers who are determined to bash the notion that the inch was not around during these ancient times however, it most certainly was but in other forms which ultimately then and now constitute the very distance as now observed, the least of which is the beautiful calculation that irritates the daylights out of the metric folk who for the life of them cannot fathom why the brilliance of the British captured these calculations how many inches are there in a mile bizarre request answer 5,281 statute mile x 12 63,360 beautiful I S N T it housed that to the math 6 3 3 6 1 8 which is the standard of measurement of the new Jerusalem for when you multiply her 12 cubed edge perimeter and arrive at 18,000 miles you also arrive at 18,000 by 5,280 linear feet which happens to be at apogee the distance between the earth and the sun and x 12 1 billion 140 million 480,000 inches which just happens to be 18 again as in 1, 1, 4, 4, 8, 1, 8 which is the standard measurement of the New Jerusalem are 63,360 18,000 1,140,480,000 inches.
I realize that they who surmise the arbitrary nature of the system of twelve researched and standardized by the British and known as the imperial system of measurement and consider it quaint and without significance, do so, without historic appreciation for antiquity, and just how tremendous is it working with a base of ten and I am not bashing metrics, in some aspects it's great but, really, is it all that scientific and reasonable to define a meter as the distance that light emitted by a cesium-133 atom transitioning between the two hyperfine levels of its ground state where wherein it will travel as it vibrates exactly 9,192,631,770,299,792,458 times Biblically speaking, the metric system is a disaster converting biblical numbers to compute with metrics is naught but an exercise in futility, here is where we of the faith community, and for that matter, the general supernatural community, must incorporate the wisdom of this world, and before we hear them, allow me the evangelical liberty to squash my critiques who apprise and or discern that I've gone off the deep end wandering about the fields of the occult and druid mysticism and what have you, brethren, idint put these measurements in scripture nor acclaim this altar at the border of Egypt, nor the exceedingly eccentric configurations in John's revelation nor Ezekiel's nigh incomprehensible measurements. Someone else did, and did so for obvious reasons, reasons which are not the exclusive purview of the occult. By linking the English units today's British imperial measurements with those of classical metrology, it also justifies making the English foot the prime unit of reference. Modern researchers who accept the fiction that the English units are of recent origin, and adopt the habit of expressing the values of the old measures in terms of the newfangled meter, thereby disguise from themselves the most significant aspects of ancient metrology, its basis in canonical number, were it not for that aspect, the business of establishing the exact values of the old units would be of merely academic interest, the fact that those units, as here calculated in English feet, exhibit the same scale of numbers as found in ancient music and geometry is what makes the system of ancient metrology so relevant to the study of traditional science. The Dimensions of Paradise, John Michel, pp. 1145. Alas who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge, where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth declare if thou hast understanding? Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest, or who hath stretched the line upon it whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, who laid the cornerstone thereof? Job 3826. Exposure of the metrics does is well documented, yet, our educational systems continue to languish in error. In June of 1792, a project was commenced that would have major social, commercial, and industrial repercussions for the two centuries that followed. Learned astronomer savants, Jean-Baptiste Joseph de Lambry and Françoise André Metchain commenced a project to measure a curved segment of the Earth's surface in order to create a whole new measurement system. The idea was to mathematically calculate the distance from the North Pole to the equator on a meridian line that ran through Paris. De Lambry worked from the north of France, beginning his survey at Dunkirk, while Metchain worked from the south, commencing his survey in Barcelona, Spain. After seven difficult years and many privations, including imprisonment in Spain for Metchain and a very real risk of losing his wise head on the guillotine for Delambre, the two met in Carcassonne to compare notes, returning to Paris together as heroes of the day. Sometime later, after a thorough analysis of the field notes, a platinum bar was fabricated that became the new meter, representing a ten millionth of the distance from the pole to the equator. Unfortunately it was 0.02 mm short of the mark, which in accruing values represented a major discrepancy. Blame for this faux pas is laid on Metchain, who supposedly didnt add his field note sums up correctly. Delambre is also held culpable, for realizing there was a mistake, but deciding to let it go and reported to the general public. Well, that's the story we get anyway, but did these savants really make a mistake or was the outcome deliberate and contrived the ancient universal metrological science, of which the British imperial standard is a walking wounded remnant survivor, was based upon the true size of the Earth, the precise cycles of the Sun-Moon producing the best loony solar calendar system the world has ever known and incremental values that worked wonderfully with Pi for successful world navigation. The system was so advanced mathematically that it tamed for use the difficult phi formula i.e., golden quotient to phi 1 sqrt 521.618033988887, and applied it in many building applications. This old standard was a brilliant, precise and all-encompassing, scientific construct that addressed every arising calculation need confronted by ancient civilizations. The system is as relevant today as it was in antiquity and has never been superseded by anything superior to it.
It is at the very foundation of civilization itself. The world's religions, long before they became corrupted by dogma and power mongery, had a pedigree back to and were formally based upon this incredible parcel of knowledge. The metrication incentive could be described along the lines of a wimpish, little boy sent forth to do a strong man's job it is to metrology what Esperanto is to languages, it doesn't make the grade and, in an overall sense, simply wastes everyone's precious time in a naive pursuit, which was prematurely initiated in an era lacking the essential scientific capability to achieve a reasonable result. The metric system is an incomplete entity or orphan and could not have subsisted by itself in antiquity. The ancient civilizations used the whole range of numbers from 1 to 13 and increases thereof. They needed progressions in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, as well as pi, phi and a multitude of fractions. The metric system, most certainly, existed in antiquity, alongside all of the other number systems. The full family of numbers was capable of addressing all contingencies and demands of science and ancient industry. Ancient societies would have viewed it as sheer madness to discard over 90% of the complete system in order to work with only one of the number categories. Using the full system, in individual families of numerical progressions, was the only way of monitoring, calculating and remembering the difficult astronomical cycles of principles of navigation. The Egyptians counted in base 10 and so did everyone else amongst the cousin peoples, dot, but they used 6, 7, 11 numerical families, etc., in base 10, as well. The metric system was instituted, primarily for the convenience of bankers and bean counters. It's a nightmare for engineers and anyone else who has to wait to refine tolerances. Carpenters can get by with it, as they generally work to visual tolerances that are within the capabilities of metric rulers. Trying to fashion chronology systems on a metric basis is nigh on impossible. We do, however, need the convenience of a metric system, within a wider metrological system, for some limited, decimalized functions, the ancient weights, volumes and measurements, Martin O., Auckland, New Zealand, November, 2002 Egyptian royal cubit versus the Solomon Isimosi's sacred cubit of 25.20 An insertion would be appropriate here with an initial introduction to the subject presented by Jacob J. Boaz, 0.20.62 inches See also Tim Lovett's cubit references is presumed to be the standard of unit of measure for the Great Pyramid, this is an erroneous figure based on the fact it does not conform to the ancients' methods. The correct figure for the Royal Egyptian Cubit is, is an Egyptian fraction 11,215,155 feet if we are going to be exact. This being equal to 189,110 feet or 23,455 inches written as 20.618181818 inches in decimal form. A royal Egyptian cubit of 1891110440 gives a base length of 756 feet. To verify this figure for the royal Egyptian cubit I use the following logic. The pyramid perimeter base of 756 4 equals 3024 feet. Using the ancient circle formula described above produces the following 3024 176 17211 feet 17 16166 feet or 206211 inches this dimension equals the width of the king's chamber within 0.004 inch of J.H. Cole's measured width as noted in his 1925 survey paper 39 dividing by 10 verifies the length of the royal Egyptian cubit to be 23455 inches by rounding numbers we miss the ancients' concepts, using fractions eliminates this possibility. Great Pyramid reveals a new idea, Jacob J. Boaz, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 19,882,007, all rights reserved the GPG's most formidable archaeologist metrology expert, Sir William Flinders Petrie, determined that the GPG was calculated using the Egyptian royal cubit of measurement of 20.632 not the 20.618181818, as per Boaz Cole above therefore at the GPG's base measurement approximates 440 Egyptian royal cubit and, these 440 cubits by, 20.632 slightly more than the 756 by 12 9072 inches, which measurement totals 18 and is significant by most and, most certainly, confers the GPG as the pillar unto the lord at the border of Egypt however, 755 has also been used to calculate the base by some so that 755.35 x 12 9064.2 inches, so Flinders Petrie 
base measurements are as follows length of sides west 755.76 feet north 755.41 feet east 755.87 feet south 756.08 feet however if the more precise measured egyptian royal cubit is utilized as per boaz at 20.618181818 in our calculation it would give us 20.618181818 x 440 egyptian royal cubits 440 as per petrie cole boaz 9071.9999999 which obviously is our preference in that 9071.9 is virtually 9072 which equates to the 756 by 12 9072 inches per the base of the gpg of 440 egyptian royal cubits of 20.618181818 9072 inches as well we are reminded that the figure of 20.618181818 is somewhat astounding in that the repetition of the 18 is so endlessly pronounced giving the sample evidence that the gpg's recourse had in mind the ultimate standard of the new jerusalem as its monumental effort seemingly conveys Likewise, Petri's elevation of the GPG stands at 280 Egyptian royal cubits, 280 by 20.65768 inches, whereas 480 by 12,560. However, some calculate the height of the GPG at approximately 480.69 x 12,568.28, and neither 280 Egyptian royal cubit height of 5,768. Note 20.618181818. 280 Egyptian royal cubits 5,773.091 inches of 481.091 feet. Due to the GPG's exposure to the elements of weather and Earth's instability, and our data derived from sundry ratios aforementioned, and neither measurements of perhaps the world's foremost archaeologist, Sir W. F. Petrie, we are altogether confident that those who built the GPG had these ratios 1575 in mind for base and height. Therefore, the height was 480 and the base side was 9072 linear inches. The GPG capstone bears out these ratios and is 162 base by 102. 2.857 height, maintaining the ratio of 1575, as well as the 156th of the GPG overall size. Please also see in this article Ezekiel's Millenarian Altar. Ezekiel clarifies the 25.20 sacred cubit. The measurements completed in 1926 by J. H. Cole on behalf of the Egyptian government on the GPG have recovered, as Michelle suggests, the measures used by its builders. Cole reported that the average length at the base of each of the pyramid's four sides was 755.785 feet. This is within about 212 inches of the length evidently intended, 756 feet, which is equal to 500 cubits of 1,512 feet, i.e., 756,500 Egyptian cubits. 1.512 x 12 18.144 Egyptian royal cubit x 500 cubits 9072 which is 756 by 12 9072 a cubit of this length i.e. 18.144 has been identified from the measurements of other ancient monuments and is generally accepted by metrologists it is the unit referred to by Agathocrates who wrote that the side of the pyramid measured 500 cubits the corresponding foot two thirds of a cubit is equal to 1.008 feet i.e. 20 thirds of 1.512 feet 1.008 feet with 0.504 as 13th dimensions of paradise, John Michel. p. 106. Of immediate fascination to this author is the somewhat astounding number sets recognizable in the 500 Egyptian royal cubit calculation of 18.14 for length of the 1.512 of the same wherein the 18 of the New Jerusalem is glaringly revealed, as well as the 144 a wall of the New Jerusalem Revelation chapter 211,617 and, of course, the 1.512 as two 756 space edges of the GPG and the number set 1512 as the Greek geometria for the word apocalypse. All three of these are revealed in the Egyptian royal cubit and clearly demonstrate its properties are in sync with a Hebrew cubit of 25.20 wherein 756 by 4 base edges 3024 are two sets of 1512 by 12 36288 25.20 1440 Hebrew cubits are the 144 of the wall of the New Jerusalem and are seen in the 18.144 Egyptian royal cubit wherein the 100 
144 is clearly seen in the 18 again of the overall New Jerusalem standard of measurement. Likewise, we see parallels in this 756 by 4 3024 by 3 cubed 12 edge GPG 9072 and 18.144 Egyptian royal cubit x 500 such cubits 9072 the one edge base of the GPG at 756 12 9072 therefore, as a number set the 9072 12 edge of cube GPG is equal to the 500 cubit 18.144 base side of the GPG a one edge. Likewise, we see the Egyptian royal cubit manifested here. The dimensions given allow the Great Pyramid's coding to be read according to a combined 6-7 series of numbers e.g., 117, founded upon the value 42. As will be demonstrated, the known length standards of all ancient cousin civilizations of the Mediterranean basin will perfectly fit into these dimensions. These include a Greek mile of 5,250 feet, a stadia of 630 feet, a short stadia of 525 feet, a reed of 10.5 feet, an Assyrian royal cubit of 25.2 inches, a Hebrew Celtic royal cubit of 21 inches, an Egyptian royal cubit of 20.618181812 inches, Hebrew cubits of 17.5 16.8 inches, Greek feet of 12.6 inches, Roman feet of 11.666666 and 11.664 inches, etc. Areas would be read in pyramid acres of 28,800 square feet ref. Herodotus. Ancient weights, volumes and measurements therefore, the 20.618181840 Egyptian royal cubits is per petri 9072 or 756 by 12 9072 whereas, the 500 cubits is per agatharchides at 18.1449072 is likewise permissible and exceedingly accurate, consequently, the Egypt cubit short cubit of 18.144 indeed, the length of the GPG's base of 756 or x129 9072 inches can be extended to two base sides as per 2 by 9072 18144 or four base square sides as in 18144 by 236288 the base perimeter of the GPG naturally 18.144 is 1500th of its 500 cubit base as Agatharchides suggests getting back to the missing capstone i.e. the pyramidion from a theological perspective it is determined that the stone a capstone which which the builders rejected i.e., Jesus the same has become the chief cornerstone of the capstone itself Matthew 21.42 Mark 12 10 Luke chapter 2017 I Peter chapter 27 Likewise, the second advent will mark the fulfillment of the adumbrative language found in Zechariah chapter 4710 wherein it states and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace grace to it the first historical mentioning of the missing capstone was made by Diodorus Siculus around 100 BC who did not mention the peculiarity of its absence therefore, it has been surmised that the pyramid is thought to have always been absent its capstone. The amazing capstone measurements the graphic below was especially prepared to highlight the altar unto the Lord in the land of Egypt on that prophetic day not many days hence, the turmoil in the Middle East is, nevertheless, fraught with promise in that the prophecy found in Isaiah, yet unfulfilled, will one day find glorious expression in the most unlikely location, and upon its very capstone. Click to enlarge but the measurement of the missing capstone, regardless of its absolute elevation, is proportionate in keeping with the entire 117 ratio of the Great Pyramid of Giza throughout however, the proportional 156th area has been taken in that its commensurate ratios are exceedingly precise, lending credibility to our thesis that the capstone or altar in the land of Egypt has a more prophetic role to play among the Gentiles on that day, nearly 30 years now missing atop the GPG. Egyptian authorities were going to place a capstone atop the GPG in celebration of the year 2000 but the millennium celebration fizzled, awaiting final fulfillment, for it is an altar of sacrifice and offering. The calculations are impressive, in that they persistently attest to the measurements of the New Jerusalem, just as the entire GPG attests, the perimeter of the base of the capstone 162 by 4648-18, and JS as in 64818, the capstone space length of 162 by 162 is a perfect square at its base whose square inch calculations produce a product of 26,244 square inches or 18 as in 2, 6, 2, 4, 1, 8.
If the base measurement is used as one edge of a cubed capstone we will arrive at this calculation 162 by 12 1944 linear inches 18 as in 1, 9, 4, 4, 1, 8 the standard measurement of the New Jerusalem's 18 the 26,244 square inches at the base of the capstone x 6 cubed sides 157,484 square inches 144 the wall of the New Jerusalem 1093.518 as in 1, 9, 3, 3518 the capacity volume of the cubed capstone 162 by 162 by 162 4,251,528 cubic inches 27 which attests to the full revelation of the Messiah in Christian sacred canon 27 volumes therefore the fullness of the capstone is the Messiah the deliverer the circumference of a circle using the height of the capstone as the circle's radius is found by the formula circumference 2 pi radius a c2 3.14 102.857646 and 6 by 4 by 6144 the wall of the New Jerusalem. The height of the capstone at 102.857 is 156 the height of the 480 GPG a 480 by 12 5760 56102.857 the 162 base edge of the capstone is 156 of the 756 linear edge base of the GPG a 756 by 12 9072 56 162 the perimeter of the capstone at 162 by 4640 is 156 of the entire base perimeter of the GPG and 9072 by 436 million 288,156 648 18 648 New Jerusalem Standard the number 9 is comprised of the triune God 3 and man 6 3 6 9 and 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 by 5 by 6 by 7 by 8 by 9 362,880 a 36,288 is a fractal of 362,880 and both equal to 27 the revelation of Messiah in the 27 volumes of sacred Christian canon 362,880 by 10 by 11 by 12 by 13 by 14 by 15 by 16 by 17 by 18 6 quadrillion 402 trillion 373 billion 705 million 728 thousand 6 4 2 3 7 3 7 5 7 2 8 5 4 5 4 9 a 5040 is the optimal number of Plato 2 2520 which is the measurement of the sacred cube at a 25.20 note all number number sets when multiplied by 25.20 will have a product whose digit sum is equal to 9 reflecting the universality of God man wherein the eternal triune God's three desires fellowship relationship for eternity with man 6 for example choose any number 1 to 1 million and multiply it by 25.20 and the result will be a product whose sum of its digits is equal to 947 trillion 92 billion 84 million 93,900 90 by 25.201 quadrillion 186 trillion 720 billion 519 million 168 thousand 548 7 2 7 2 9 simply add all the digits and the answer will always be 9 all increments of 9 will result in a multiplicand which can also produce a product of 9 as the sum of its product digits e.g. 9 9 1 8 extension 3 8 6 2 7 8 6 million 953 thousand and 4 6 9 Nine five three four two seven two seven nine or nine 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 four five and forty five by two billion eight hundred and seventy million four hundred and twenty seven thousand seven hundred and seventy two twelve billion nine hundred and thirty four million two hundred and forty nine thousand seven hundred and forty four five four five nine a cubed capstone pyramid and using its one base edge as the primary edge 12 by 162 1944 and 1944 cubed capstones 12 edges is 156 of the entire cubed GPG using its 9072 one edge x 12 108864 which is a reflection of the moon's radius of 1080 miles and the sun's diameter of 864,000 miles and 108,864 is most probably 
probably the number of the sum of the world's soul Plato also, 108,864 totals 27 as in 1, 8, 8, 6, 4, 2, 7 and 27 is the full revelation of Messiah in Christian sacred text 27 volumes and it appears as 118 and 864 18 are two sets of 18 the New Jerusalem standard and 1, 8, 1, 8, 3, 6 which is the expression of the eternal God, without beginning or ending as a circle and 108,864 56 1944 which is equal to the 12-edged cubed capstone, and 1944 18 New Jerusalem standard of measurement as in 1, 9, 4, 4, 1, 8. Note the discovery of the sum number of the world soul has troubled scholars for centuries since Plato proposed it. Normally, 34 to 36 number sets have been chosen whose total sum and matrix, Plato believed, would be the only possible instrument of fair, humane government such a ruler would have the benefit of a constant mathematical standard as guide and reference in all things. We at the Tribunate concur with the concept however, we affirm that such a constellation of number sets and their sum is found in the New Jerusalem matrix, that constellation of number sets whose total reflects the perfection of harmony and relationship so anxiously sought after by worldlings but glaringly presented in the apex of the apocalypse the New Jerusalem, dot and substantiated by the sacred cubit measurement of 25.20, as well as confirmed by 33 Messiah's climactic number of death, resurrection and ascension and by the ultimate standard of measurement within the New Jerusalem itself, 18, which when its digits are summed, total 9189, a number, as is 25.20, presents maximum versatility and, consequently, is representative of the triune God 3 creation and 6, depicting the Almighty's quest for eternal relationship viz, the Lamb's Bride. The cubed side of the capstone 162 by 162 26,244 square inches x 6 sides 157,464 27 Messiah in the 27 volumes of the Christian sacred canon 144 The wall of the New Jerusalem 1093.518 New Jerusalem standard of measurement the base perimeter of the GPG in inches is 9,072 and 9,072 by 9,072 82,301,184 square inches also 27 The area measurement of the base of the GPG x 6 cube GPG 493,807,104 digits add to 36 The Eternal God without beginning or ending 144 3,429,216 Messiah revealed in Christian sacred canon therefore, from the capstone to the base of the GPG the eternal God 36 is working through the sun 27 to produce the new Jerusalem 18. Our conclusion to these capstone measurements is obvious and forthright, the capstone reflects the ultimate new Jerusalem as the expression, as well, of ultimate reconciliation, unity and peace among peoples, for in that day Israel will be one of three with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing in the midst of the land, whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed is Egypt my people, and Assyria the work of my hands, and Israel my inheritance Isaiah chapter 192425. The interior of the GPG is covered in the first part of this special series in the Purposes of God, video 13 and 14 on the Great Pyramid of Giza. Their measurements become increasingly clear, even to the most skeptical among us, that these interior galleries and passageways with their peculiar ascending and descending structures go far beyond a superficial tomb for an unknown pharaoh. The GPG is a step pyramid having no cultural link to the Egyptians, for the shepherd kings built a masterpiece of antiquity, dot the world's most massive artifact of history past. They were purposefully designed by builders motivated to declare their dimensions reflect the eternal purpose of the Almighty for humankind, as an irrevocable monument, pillar to the Lord at Egypt's border, as the supreme witness to his undertaking upon this earth, declared to the heavens, that God and the pinnacle of his creation, man, would, through divine deliverance, sacrifice, be united in eternal fellowship, known as the Holy City, New Jerusalem, descending from heaven as a bride, the woman, the wife of the Lamb, for she has made herself ready for the marriage Feast of the Lamb, copyright 2011 Doug Krieger presented with author's permission email protected note the entire article is available here alters, Ancient Egypt to the Apocalypse, Part 4, Section 4 The Wonderful Numbers of Sacred Canon Subject Related Articles by Doug Krieger